the Boy Scout or who? Tushy, two inches on the front, two on the back. Now it's got four. I'm surprised that one's got an Amazon on it. There's at least two on the back. This is a big one too. I bet she's got into on the back. for stuff on the ground and just walk along and pop back in. That's how bad this traffic is. Dead halt pretty much. Pretty much. We stuck. I swear I saw something about a semi turned over. But then it said what what did it say on that sign? Merge up ahead and use both lanes or something like that. I think the only reason why lanes are moving is because people are turning around. Two lanes merge. <laughs> use both lanes. And it didn't make any sense. mile stretch gonna suck up our battery we were at 29 percent it's not like we're idling it's, no it's... but still we were at a dead stop for like 10 minutes but again people are turning around it means you don't have that option Guadalupe? 
next stop next charger behind the Hampton Inn What was the rating on this one? Do you remember? We're down to 11 percent. Nice cool night. 75 degrees. Love your light. And we are up in turn. Now the one we stopped at, which one was it? The uh, the one. Um, the last one in Albuquerque. My husband said the price we were being charged was double the price that we've been charged at any of the other places we've been at. You got charged like $17. About saying 50 minutes at this one. long time. I wonder if I'll take a nap or something. Oh, there's another Tesla coming in behind us. Time is dropping. The more it gets connected. So far, we're being charged 55 cents. So, for those that are not familiar with cars, we do, you know, with electric cars, you still get charged like a gas station, but it's like half the rating. the price basically and if you charge at home and you um, work with your electric company they actually charge you like almost next to nothing and when we actually set it up on a 220 we took our 220 from our guest house and my electrician didn't most most electricians will charge you like five grand my electrician charged me. He was only gonna charge me two fifty, two hundred fifty bucks, and he dug a huge trench for it. And I gave him five hundred. Yeah, I love him. Dude's awesome. I love my electrician. Great guy. He's such a good guy. I want to pay him more. He's like, no. Anyway, so. We have another stop after this. I'll probably jump back on for a few seconds. Let's see if I get out of here. I'll get on before we leave here. At, well, we're at 92 now. We're at 91 percent, and off to Flagstaff, which is 35 miles away. Flagstaff. Oh, 179 miles away. Okie dokie. And then we were at the stop. We're at the stop for 35 minutes to oh. charge. Although I think we're just gonna call it a night there. And well, we've been to Flagstaff. Flagstaff is gorgeous. But we came up the. Um, <laughs> Phoenix when we lived in 
service that we went through Tucson to Phoenix to the south side of the Grand Canyon the last time. Um, but it's a serious grade to go up through the mountains. And it's interesting because you'll go from between six and 8,000 feet, you'll go from desert to forest like BAM. So we're coming in at an angle. So hopefully we won't like have that. We're actually going to be straight up in the desert once again. So, but I don't know uh, how that's going to work in Flagstaff. But maybe we'll see some mooses. Especially since they've been getting a lot of rain. Maybe they'll be out and about. Because the last time we were in Flagstaff, it was June. Oh, wait. It's about the same time we went through last time. Yeah. So, we went through the first week of June um, 2010 was when we were at the Grand Canyon last time. So, now, obviously, you guys know where we're heading to now. Um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting. So... We'll stay in Flagstaff tonight, and then we'll work our way out to the where we're going to tomorrow in the Grand Canyon. <clears throat> How much farther after that tomorrow?
we do have friends that live in um, El Paso. Um, we could probably stop and see them on the way through. But we're going to be on a race to get back, and we'll explain that on our way back. Um, and then at another stop, uh, we'll explain that. Um, I don't want to get ahead of myself. You guys are going to have to wait for all of that information. So, um, good things to come. Good information to come. Um, lots of surprises. So, we will... This is like going to be an all-in-one video. So, I don't want to keep putting up constant videos to where you guys are going to get bored. Especially when, uh, when we drive sometimes. That you can kind of see stuff like that. For the mountains. And there are some plateaus, but we are more or less in some plateaus and in the mountains because they're up and then when we get to Flagstaff they're mountains and then at the same time when we get to the other part of Flagstaff it's going to be really weird to you guys because then it goes to the Grand Canyon and if you've never been to the Grand Canyon and you've seen pictures of it um, it's really spooky because you can't paint the Grand Canyon it looks painted um, so, it's very cool. I mean, and I'm going to take y'all to it. And then we're going to a site we've never been to. And we would absolutely love to do the meal ride to go at, or go down and camp at the Jewel uh, Falls and camp there because it's like a balmy 72 year round. Um, uh, the Jewel Falls, I think, or Jade Falls. Uh, uh, or do the River Rabber rides, but they're booked out two or three years at a time. Um, maybe we'll do that. We'll book ourselves out sometime and then just eventually get to go on it. <clears throat> but especially now that we live in Texas, because it's not, it's not that far. I mean, in general, what is it like a 10 hour drive for us? Maybe not even eight hours. Maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> but it would be kind of nice to do. I mean, we're very adventurous. I mean, we went swimming with uh, jellyfish. <laughs> he didn't get stung. I got stung 13 times when we were down in the Keys. When we went on the um, catamaran. So, I didn't mind it. But, there was, at least there weren't sharks out there. But we have swam with sharks, so. Sharks and sea rays. But, um, yeah, so, we're going to... It'll be a split second for you guys, and then um, I'll try to get some pictures stuff. But I will tell you guys what we saw: 14 trains for the day, and um, yeah, they just kept going, <laughs> going, and going. But it was 16:32 or 16:37 for that last charge up. So so far, I think that we've spent like. Uh, 40 45 dollars <coughs> on, on our trip so far on charging and um, we'll kind of keep you apprised on it so if you guys are wanting to cal calculate so basically from Bernie San Antonio because we live at like the border now of course that was being charged up at our house too um, so <clears throat> I'll see where we're at if I find anything really cool or pictures, I'll add in between videos and stuff. Okay. Okay, you guys. So there is a speedway there. Now turn right uh, on to North Pizza Bistro. And then around the corner is a mobile gas station. When you come in. And guys, I would have gotten out and taken pictures. But it's... Blooming cold. It's 40 stinking one degrees. And I'm just yelling PJs. Um, but we're, it's 40 west, 40 east. And it's, it's very pretty, but very, very cold. So, yeah. <laughs> it is nuts. These people out here in t-shirts. What is you know so? Oh, and a little bit more cold. Ooh, a little bit more cold. Not these guys. <laughs> 
They know better. They like wallpaper. So, so there's a mall down here, though. Look at that. Yes, they're also very health conscious. I guess for some reason. In 500 feet, turn see what I mean in a second. U.S. Highway 89. Oh yeah. What's that? I was yelling because I don't have my seatbelt on. I just realized it. Now turn right on the North tired. U.S. Highway 89. The Grand Canyon and the North and South Room. The South Room is 79 miles and the North Room is 195. Oh, looky there. Statue. Staff Mall is here. Over here. Now turn right. It's a place to get a shower and a massage and a place that we have a nationwide. Oh, you're horrible. Access to. Oh, so we have <laughs> Planet Fitness. The destination will be on the right. Membership, so. <laughs> that we haven't used. But we still have it. We haven't used no. We have it. We just haven't used it in a long time because of the pandemic. Because we've been afraid to touch anything. Your destination is on the right. Because <laughs> we touchy feely stuff, and I'm not afraid of getting that. Is just because so many people are just. That's the bad thing about going to gyms. It's already bad enough about people not cleaning up after themselves. I got it because I like the diamond membership. <laughs> we are at a Planet Fitness. We are so bad. We're so resourceful. You are resourceful. And I'm going to be going in there in jammies. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a bad thing. Most people would probably get up and go, Hey, let's go get a gym. You go first. Because you're the man. I'll just walk in. Uh, sir, yeah, the showers are right over there. <laughs> yeah, you stink. Stink master is what I called you last night. I will curl up with you, but not into you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's funny. He stinks. He's a dinky man. You told me that's where our stickers go. Don't worry, it we won't stick to Not with that fabric. I'm tired. Use of any Planet Fitness worldwide. Of course it is. We don't have our little thing with I don't know where mine is. I have to I have to go in and manually sign in. Hey, you got you guys you don't have uh, all right, well. well. I am in Planet Fitness. I just took my shower. And they allowed me, I bought a towel and get my waters and my husband's towel. And these guys were out. I got it my other towel and my two waters. All right. I'm getting a tooth in here. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna say hi to my water. Oh, hey. okay. I didn't get my water yet. Oh, go for it. I can get them? Yep. So, you guys rock and thank you very much for the facilities. Yeah. See how much better and happier I am now? <laughs> yeah, right? Ladies in there were great. And your co worker, I told her she looked like Ghostbusters because of her, her whole setup. Oh, the back. Yeah, I, I couldn't show that on video because she was in the ladies' restroom. But yeah. Right. And she goes, I feel like one. I was laughing. So, so where are you guys up to next? Um, I think it's the the rim part of the area mm. of the Grand Canyon. Nice. Oh yeah, that's what you were saying, like the glass bridge. Mm-hmm. Nice. So that's gonna be fun. He's probably out there listening to um, 
one of his favorite bloggers. And then probably looking at the watch going, hey, are you ready to go? <laughs> Did you need help carrying any of this? Or? Yeah, I told him to get it on his way out. He goes, no, you get it. Thank you. This is great. And I wish I had more time to work out and take a 20 minutes in the get me some sun because I don't, I'm usually dark because I was in Florida for like nine years. Yeah. And see my pasty legs? And again, I haven't been to the facility in a while. And I'm missing this. And this is great. That's why I got Planet Fitness over. I used to go to, and I'm not going to name the names. I used to go to another facility, but the diamond here, black diamond, nope, nope. Hydro masseuse tables, right? I know when you have a break, you just go lay down in there, right? Oh, definitely. All right. Bye, lady. All right, well, I better go before he kicks my behind me. Thank you. Hi, ladies, thank you. Spectacular view, ladies. Yeah. Talking about how beautiful you are. Oh, thank you. Not, I'm not saying the behind area, you know. You guys look great. You guys did a good job on your hair. Thank you. Hi, honey. Water. Remember? Would you like your time now or later? Later. Ah, you didn't get the joke. Never mind. Hey, bye bye to everybody. We're ready to rock. You go to the other side of the room. Oh, actually, I might as well check on that. So, let me press it. Okay, so I hope he surprised me. He said that he, he changed his mind on the Grand Canyon. And we're going to do Hoover Dam over the Grand Canyon since we did the Grand Canyon before. Um, though you guys may not have seen the Grand Canyon. I could pop in some pictures of when we, we were um, there before, a um, long time ago in 2010. So I'll try to pop in a couple pictures at the end of the video, of this video, um, so that you guys can see when we were there when the kids were much younger. Um, but we have never been to the uh, Hoover Dam. So, it's the idea of hitting things that we have never seen before. So, we are going to go to the Hoover Dam first, and then we've never been to another place. So, if you know anything about what's near the Hoover Dam, then you would know the next place we're going to after that. So, um, I'm not going to tell you if you don't know, but if you're going to look it up on a map, you'll know. So, he said that we will be at where uh, Hoover Dam when? Around noon, we're going to go to another charging stop, and then... So Kingsman, we're going to be there, and then we have a spot at Hoover Dam. So, yeah, and that'll be awesome, because it's something we haven't done before. Again, we've already done the Grand Canyon. Though we're really not far from the Grand Canyon, we were just looking at going to a different spot of the Grand Canyon. So, yep. I'm just going to keep this video going with all the um, different charging stations so that I don't keep putting all of them on there um, and driving you all crazy with different videos. And I know a lot of people do that, so it's going to be like all one video.
because we're going downhill, we're actually using negative energy, so we're bringing energy back into uh, the car, which is pretty cool. And the reason why we didn't end up going to <clears throat> the Grand Canyon is because we'd only end up being there three hours, and then by the time we'd get to the Hoover Dam, it would be dark. So that was a reason why he decided not to do that. And though we would make it to Vegas, it would be dark. It would not be a bad thing. We kind of were hoping to get there during the day. So that's it's all about priorities. We only have a certain amount of time, and uh, again, we done the Grand Canyon, it's kind of a family thing, so I, I, I'm, I'm good with keeping it at that, so we'll experience some, some new things. Yeah, and Vegas has been true. <laughs> and shout out to What the Hales, and uh, seeing Vegas, so this is for George. So we're on our next stop, getting ready to stop. And this is on um, off of 40, right? Yes. And this is Kingman, Arizona. And we're at West Beale Street. And we're going to be here for about 20, 20 minutes? Probably a little longer. I'll leave the buffer a little bit. For God's sake, because we're at 12%. But this is a supercharger, so this is definitely a Tesla charger. Not a freebie. So. Freebies are good when you're when you're not going anywhere for a while. Tesla superchargers, bam, bam, bam. So when you get off, you're definitely gonna see a TNA. Which, by the way, gasoline here is three thirty one. Wow. That's insane, folks. This gas station is 349 and 379. Wow. Mojave County Ministry Court. Wow, you know, get off and you're at the basically police station. Okay, so that's a Chevron and then that's a Bridgestone, just so you guys know. And then there's a Carl's Jr. and there's the Tesla Chargers right there. And that's right at Carl's Jr. Oh, Carl's Jr. Oh, oh, oh. Which, seen one of that in a while. Yeah, so that is uh what is what's this? Hardy's 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 sibling. Hardy's West. Yes, yeah, that's at the other side. Oh, oh, the other side. Oh, oh, let me tell you something about Carl's Jr. They make the best guacamole burger. Oh my god. Oh can I have a guacamole of burger? Oh Lord have mercy. Guac burger, guac burger, guac burger. If you have never had a guac burger don't get it unless you get it from here. Oh my God, I've had guac burgers from other places. Carl's Jr., I have missed you. I know we have them in Texas, but it just seems like it's better like an Arizona area. Not near us, we don't have one near us. Don't not, we? Not, not in San Antonio. No? no? It's like 100 miles away. I know, because when we used to come out here and when we lived in Arizona, oh, they do have a steak Angus burger. And though we saw a lot of Angus, um, cows. No. Walk. Burger. I hope to goodness they have them. Lord have mercy. I've got to get me a quack burger. Y'all have no idea. Okay, so the last charge. Of course, last charge was actually out of charger. Our charge last night didn't cost us anything. Still saying 20 minutes. Then he's going to start telling us we're getting charged. Watch. Are we getting charged yet? Are you going to get me some guac burger? Good man. Give me a guac burger. Yeah, we're not getting charged. So, you think about it, kilowatts versus the, the man is getting me a guac burger. Oh, yeah. Like the man who's getting me a guacamole burger. I've been eating banana nut grains for breakfast, so I want a guac burger. Yes, 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 yes. 
I've been eating healthy the whole trip. We either eat nuts or grains or uh, granola. It was granola and um, bananas. So we've been eating healthy because um, we don't really need all that stuff because we old. He's turning 50 on the third, folks. That's what this whole trip is about and different places. So yeah, it's all about doing something new because we got to get our bucket list in sometimes and I'm going to see my eyes just keep watering. Just, you know, I'll be working on something. And for those that are wondering, this may be like you're seeing me do Tesla on this and that. But I am crafting. Yes, I am crafting nonstop when I'm here I'm on the drive. So I am crafting, folks. Trevor Custom Crafts. I am crafting. I am making a bunch of these um, to go for um, for sale. So I'm crafting and crafting and crafting. Um, I have. Tons of yarn underneath my seat. I have bags galore behind me. So I am making um, uh, scrubbies for your body. Super soft velvet. Yummy, yummy velvet. Those are for the body, but these are for the soaps for your dishes and stuff. These are scrubbies for your dishes. So um, at the end of the month, I will be making, uh, starting going back to my bath and body products. So, and I haven't done that in a while. Um, I made some when I lived in Florida, but I did not go massive production like I did when I lived here in Arizona. So, um, going back to massive production on that, but, um, I have over 1100 products right now made of, with epoxy. You guys are going to love that stuff. Um, I can't tell you everything, but it, it is going to go up on CCC. Uh, all my how to's are going to be here on YouTube. Um, no longer on Facebook. Uh, there will be no more how-to's posted at all on CCC. Uh, it is going to be whatever that's there is going to be there. Uh, I may go back in and take some of those out, except the ones that I have posted prior to. Um, but there'll be no posted. Uh, I know that I caught some on there and I think, um, those were taken off. Uh, but there will be no more posted of any sorts on there. CCC is now a complete business transaction for sale. Um, at the end of the month that I will be posting all my stuff for sale like it used to be for Mac Fry Market. Um, but you will be able to catch me live here uh, doing my uh, how-tos. Um, and then I'll pre-do uh, pre uh, how-tos and put it on here too. So, but yeah, yeah. Um, I am trying to get back to me, um, because you guys, I miss you guys. I do. I miss you guys. So, um, yeah, just because this is done with the Tessa, this is his baby. This is, this was his retirement car, but, um, a gift. But at the same time, guys, we were driving two different vehicles. It wasn't insane. And even he was making round trips of almost 60 miles a day with his car and, and then even for me to go up to go shopping, it was taking up a half a tank of car, uh, gas in, in our in our SUV. That was insane. And you're talking, it was costing me like 40 bucks to fill that up. Half a tank just to go up and go shopping, like uh, 25 miles uh, up and then 25 miles back. And it was just sucking it dry. And I'm like, this is insane. And then... And for him to drive every day round trip 50 miles and back and forth back and forth it was bad I mean you're talking you're talking a lot of miles and two different vehicles and then driving around and then I have to go and get stuff for renovating the house so it, we have big vehicles and even if we reduce down and he was taking the smaller vehicle that's crazy so and then even if we bought a vehicle, we were talking about doing a hybrid. And I'm like, why are we doing a hybrid if we're gonna do that? Wait a minute, right up the road is a Tesla. Let's see what they cost. So we were looking at gasoline for two weeks, crossing that off and then maintenance, oil change, da 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 da. And I started thinking, why don't we just buy a Tesla? Uh, and then cross all that out. And I said, I ride my motorcycle all the time. And then we'll just keep the truck for when we have to go and get some big things so and the truck is papa and this is obviously venom and then my bike is charlotte and 
my bike isn't new for those who started following me my bike is now five years old so well boo five next month but next month is in a few days but about close to mid to the third week of june so but she's in good shape because she stays in the garage uh, except during the time we were moving and i did not like that I, I tried to keep her cover because it was raining a lot here but charlotte's my baby um my husband's like do you want to get another one sometimes well not during the five or four years that they remodeled and i still don't really like the new design because it looked like a freaking john deere for like four years um they were very boxy in the front um and i didn't like that but you know maybe down the line I i'll consider it i just i really like my charlotte and then even that i went and get rid of charlotte i just i want to wait until we're, we're planning on putting a big like pole storage building on the property and then i'll just keep charlotte and then um i know charlotte had a couple children that stayed with her i think she had three, she had three children that stayed with her uh, maybe I'll just keep naming them after her children and just keep them all. <laughs> I love my babies. <laughs> and I'll just I'll just start getting more and more of them and just line them up. I don't like I don't have to get rid of them. I mean, she's on she's only got like 17,200. Now, if I was living in Florida, I just I mean, I put 165 on her in Florida cuz I only put like 700 miles on her since I've been here or been in Texas cuz the weather sucks and it's either cold or not because florida i drove charlotte all the time and i'm just running my mouth now so um i guess um i think i can't tell right now we're being we have 25 minutes left i don't know why i said that 20 minutes um let's we'll see right now we owe three dollars and 29 cents that's about what the gas is for a gallon and we are a third charged already so not bad not bad so uh, considering that we've spent about four to three dollars and we've gone all the way up to basically almost to the Hoover Dam so we will keep you apprised of how much it costs for what it took us to get from where we lived to where we're going and you're not gonna know all of that you're gonna have to find out watching the videos because we're not gonna tell you all the stuff until we get to all the places because that would defeat the purpose so again there's a carl's jr there's a chevron there's a clerk kind of clerk and then that has nothing to do with the other side but there's an rv park i don't know if you guys can see it over there off to i don't know yeah over there <laughs> over that way but i have a couple there's one power station, two, three, four, five, five power stations, super power stations right here. So, yep. Okay, so I'm going to gather um, all of this together and then I'm going to just go ahead and shoot this video up. Um, and I will let you know in the next video when we get to Hoover Dam and I'll just put all that video together um, for the whole uh, stop there. And I'll let you know how much the gas was on that video. Not gas. <laughs> Looks at me. Uh, the charge was on that one for that session, the, the charge session. Um, right now we're at 29%. Uh, 52 kilowatts. And. Oop, 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 oop. Yep. I will turn you on. We are supercharging. We're at 30%, as you guys can see. I think I might go in and join my old man. Cause I mean, we've got like 20 minutes. I don't know if he wants to go in and eat or not. I feel bad. I'm sitting in the car yakking, so. We're in the car all the time. I don't want to be in here all the time. And then again, it's, it's always about protecting ourselves. But it would be nice to hear something besides myself talk. He gets mad at me just for talking. This man is like a super quiet man. So that's where we're sitting at right now at 405. I think it says 405, 407 now. 31%, 13 kilowatts. 
to be in a charge for so far. It is 86 degrees outside. It is 10.38 Arizona time. Please remember Arizona does not change time zones at all. They don't go forward or backwards, leap forward or leap back. Okay, so I might put a picture of my burger if they have it. Otherwise, he probably, if they don't have a guac burger, he'll probably get me the steakhouse acres. Because I like real meat. I don't like all the crappy burgers. If you have never had a Angus burger. Oh, look, my man's coming back. Look, there he is. The man of the hour. Hi, baby. Hi. Well, I'm going to eat with my man. Because he's a superhero. Coming back to the supercharger. Oh, bye. Angus or guac? <laughs> It's both. I told you he's a superhero. You have made every woman out there go, yeah, he yeah. demands. It even has its own diaper. Yeah, it's got a diaper on it, man. I'm sure to catch the bees. Yep. You might want to get me some wet wipes because I know this is greasy. There's no way I'm eating all of this right now. Nope. I almost got the double, but no, bad. nope. That's good. That's got enough fat in it. The only healthy thing on there is the guacamole. <laughs> Thank you. I love you very much. And I'm gonna sign off on this video. And the next time they see another video, what is to Hoover Dan?